Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to continue the journey on React Query and I want to focus this content on how you can create a global loader to handle fetching and uh, mutation uh, state. So don't waste time and let's jump in it. I've already created a loader to handle uh, the UI. Now in this loader we have to insert the logic to show the loader if there is a fetch request or if, if there is a mutation request. To do that, uh, React Query expose uh, to expose two hooks, one for the fetching and one for the mutation. Now uh, we start from the fetching uh, hooks. So to use it, we can import it from the library, so from React tank react query we can import for instance use is fetching then we can use it in our application using use is fetching and if not is fetching for instance we can return null perfect so in this case the use is fetching hook return a boolean and if is, uh, the result is true there is uh, a fetching request uh, uh, ongoing in the application otherwise uh, um, there isn't a, a fetching request so we can check if uh, it's true or false the result and if uh, it's false in this case we return null otherwise we return the, the loader now we the last last but not least we have to use it the we have to use this loader in the application so we can go in the app and we can import our loader from a component for instance we can import loader and then we can use it inside of the application in the application perfect 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 now we can check the result in the browser now if I refresh the page we can see the loader when the application try to fetch data from the API. So now it starts to load the JavaScript and now you uh, can see the loader uh, in, the, in the UI. And when uh, the fetching request uh, is ended, the, the loader disappears. Easy, uh, easy peasy and as you can see you can handle one loader for uh, all the application in this case. Okay, now it's time to see how we can handle the mutation request. So uh, to do that, we have another uh, hooks called use is mutating. So use is mutating and we can use it in our uh, component. So we can call use is mutating equals to use is mutating, perfect. And now we can check if not is mutating and not is uh, if not is fetching and not is mutating we can return null otherwise we return the the loader in this case okay now it's time to see uh, the user is mutating hooks on action so i can insert a new to do and press enter and as you can see there is the um, the loader that appear in um, in the in the page so now we have a we have a one loader to handle uh, fetching and uh, mutation and this loader is uh, global and we can uh, uh, use it in all the application without uh, uh, change uh, the code inside of the component okay i suppose that's all from this content today you learn how you can handle one uh, loader for uh, every fetching request in your uh, application and every mutation request in your application. Yes, this uh, feature is cool, but please pay attention because uh, if you need to react in a different way for, uh, for a simple case, probably this is not uh, the, the, the solution for your, for your case. But uh, if you need to have uh, one loader for all the application, uh, this is perfect, I suppose, and this fit uh, good for uh, your case. So that's all. I, I hope you enjoy this content. And if you like it, please hit the like button below. And if you want to stay updated with my content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye.